It's been seven years since Unity introduced the universal render pipeline to the world. Lightweight render pipeline. And it has also taken Unity about the same time to make it stable and actually better than its predecessor, the now legacy render pipeline. Or is it? As all of you could see in my extremely disappointing livestream last week, upgrading to Unity URP takes a long time. Long enough to get killed many times in Dark Souls. Why do I even try? But this week I've been working on fixing all the pink shaders, render artifacts and all kinds of errors. And guess what? It seems to run almost twice as fast. I mean, it looks like total crap, but that's only because I fully need to overhaul all the lighting. Apparently, they really did improve performance with the introduction of cool new rendering techniques. Who knew? So how to upgrade? There are a few things to take into account when upgrading to URP. The chances are high that you will have a lot of stuff breaking in the process. Either things will break because you'll be upgrading to Unity 6, or because they aren't ready for URP at all, or lastly, because they aren't ready for Unity 6 URP's version with the new render graph. This last combo especially happens often. With Unity 6, they massively overhauled URP, breaking everything that did support URP before but hasn't been updated to the URP render graph yet. This means that many assets from the Unity Asset Store will probably break and you will either have to buy newer versions of the same asset if they are available or you have to hope the Asset Store developer will update it freely if they are still around and if they're not you're out of luck and you have to fix it yourself. I've actually been specializing in porting older URP assets to the URP render graph due to the fact that so many assets are well deprecated and haven't been updated yet but I still need them. But if we still dare to update to Unity 6 and URP the process is pretty easy. Unity made this small tool that you only have to open, click a few buttons and then the waiting game begins. And congratulations! As when it's done, you broke your project and almost everything will be pink! Yeah! My first step was to, well, actually update all the assets that threw errors. I updated Enviro to Enviro 3, Amplify Imposters, and then I updated Microsplat to actually support URP. And on and on with a few smaller plugins. All in all, with only a few hours of work, I fixed 90% of all the pink shader issues. And I'm in luck here because City of Springs didn't use a lot of plugins. And after that, the project ran absolutely horrible due to some hidden shader that was throwing errors every frame so i had to find out which one of the pink ones left was messing it all up and temporarily disabled basically the only pink stuff still left now are some custom water shaders and some vegetation which is fine for now they can be addressed later the project while still looking very different now has about the same visual effects as it originally also had and as you can see it performs absolutely fantastic on a native resolution in the currently released game build when i run the game on my monitor's native resolution of 5k i could only get around 50 fps so i had to use an upscaler to play at a steady 60 fps but now the game actually runs at 80 fps at the native resolution of 5k which is really awesome however after congratulating myself on the improved performance congratulations on the improved performance ah thanks man that means so much to me i started working on making the game look the same as the original and i can safely say that after two full days of working on it I can report that things have gotten so many massive changes that it's going to take a lot of work to get visual parity and I'm actually not sure if it's doable to get even close. Everything from the lighting, the way the shaders look, the way the post-processing effects work, from the way all the updated assets from the Unity Asset Store look, it's all completely different. And some of the tricks that I used in the legacy render pipeline simply don't work anymore and it seems that there are no alternatives. So instead of focusing on fixing the 10% pink shaders that are left and fixing the visual fidelity of the game, 
I decided to check out how the game runs on the Nintendo Switch, as that was the whole reason why I updated in the first place. And here I got a real punch to the gut, as the game now runs absolutely horrible on the Switch. Before, in the built-in render pipeline, which I now lovingly call Burp, I was very close to obtaining a steady 30 frames per second. But after updating to UAP, the game now runs at 50. And with some tweaking, I was able to increase it to 22 without any post-processing, with the absolute bare minimum of rendering the world. But it looks like crap. And there we have it. Unity 6 seems to not work well for older or slower hardware and I find myself at a crossroads. Do I dare go on visually fixing City of Springs on URP and potentially waste a massive amount of time to make it run properly on the Switch? Or do I go back to Burp and tweak the shit out of it to make it run a steady 30 frames per second? I think I know the answer. I mean, I switched to URP to get a better performance specifically for the Switch, which doesn't actually work. So I guess back to Burp it is. I love you, Burp. But what do I think about this latest version of URP? Well, I think it's actually pretty nice and it has some solid new features that will make it the go-to choice for new projects. I think out of the box it will offer a much better performance than Burp or HDRP without having to do any performance optimization. And we all know that most Unity developers hate doing performance optimization. But should you ever upgrade an already existing project to URP? Probably not. It's a lot of work. I think months rather than weeks depending on the size of your project of course and the chances are you won't get it to look as pretty as you originally had i'd also love to hear about your experiences with upgrading to urp and specifically the new urp with the render graph did you have the same issues i had and did you end up with a better performance or did you go back to burp as i ended up doing so this video was fully edited just one button click away from getting uploaded when it hit me. I am a bit mad at Unity, so sorry for this bad pasting, but the video just wasn't done yet. The universal render pipeline should have worked way better on the Switch. Yes, it runs better on PC, but if I wanted sick performing graphics on PC, I would have used a high definition render pipeline, but no, I needed something to run better on the Switch, better than the old legacy crap. But the absolute truth is, is that no amount of fake marketing will ever make URP run better on Burp on older or slower hardware. So thank you Unity for lying to us. For now, I'll have my work cut out for me by having to find more tricks to improve the performance on the Switch in Burp. So as always, take care and hope to see you again next week.